Cade Slinky. Hey people, Cade Slinky here. How are we doing? So that Ross Withers Quest is live. It's been live, I think it went live yesterday. And it was just a quick run through I thought I'd do on just what I think of it really. And I like this event. I've always struggled before in the past with this event. Um, although your heroes are capped. Yeah, they're capped each tier. I've always still struggled. I think you need, I think it's an event that you do need a good choice of heroes. Um, for example, this time I seem to have breezed through common much easier. All because I had, obviously you've got to use Ross Weaver, but I had Noble, I had him, which helped for this event um, big time. And also Yarrick, I do think helped um, just to begin with. It kind of shows you at the top there the characters you can use. Also having um, Isabella really helped as well. They're the fourth character you can have. But having Yarrett for me, especially the, like I say, them first few stages, really helped because you can just send out the guys straight off. Um, they're going to really shoot at them first. They're up front. I mean, you can use Bellator, but you need a couple of rounds to get kind of more... Um, more guys on the ground so Yarrick obviously it sends out the four straight off so it really did help me to kind of get through them first stages as you've got obviously you need to do it without taking damage and I've always struggled with that before in the past with this event but it's a great event I think it's always good this event for rewards um yeah as soon the higher you get it gets a lot more difficulty um the main thing to kind of focus on is well, what I do is literally just go through everything to hit to the top, to legendary, as far as you can get. Not everyone can get that far. Get to the top, and then I just go back and normally just go through different rounds I can do. You get plenty of time. You get plenty of attempts. You can also purchase attempts. Um, I'm not sure if it used to be watching a quick video. Um, I think it still is. Um, but the rewards are normally good for this event, even getting some of the Chronicles of War, some badges. Um, so, if it, for example, like I say, always make sure... Have a look at this, what you need to do. So, gain 100 by only deploying characters that don't have a flying trait. And also by characters that don't have the trait suppressive fire. So, again, with this event, I do feel if you've got more characters to choose from, it does make life that much easier. Um, but also, what you're going to be looking at is these little blue kind of badges. So, these are the only guys you can use um, on this event. And you're going to get the... So, it's saying... Oh, it's because I've got him with wings, I think. So, you don't need... I need someone without a flyer. So, again, Yarrick seems to be really good for this event. So, that's it. Who else can we take? Um, let's take this guy. Oh, no. We've got the suppressed. We don't want him in. Who else can we take here? Um, it's got a bit of range. There we go. So there you go, both ticked. So I know I'm going to get at least 200 to get this done. But they are, like I said, the great thing is just send it in Yarrick straight off. Is just hopefully going to concentrate. All oh, these are getting a bit tougher now. There you go. Oh, as long as they don't flee. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. This has definitely stepped up a gear this level compared to the last one, that's for sure. What's going on? Perhaps I should have took uh Wow, this this level stepped up. This is a bad example, but I'm gonna use it. I don't like to do every video of me doing well. There we go, flee. We want more fleeing. Ross Wither. So good, this hero. That's it, she's finished it. We're going to get the most points there. Get 300. That's not bad for a first attempt. But uh, that was a great example of how quick <laughs> this event difficulty does kind of... What happened there? Um... Wow, yeah, so that that's a big step from uncommon to rare. 
Um, that did step up a gear. As you can see, I mean, the rest I did fairly easy. <laughs> they weren't hitting that hard. What's the next one? By not spawning any summons, I'm not, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. Ah, uh, that that that's without spawning is my kind of uh, fun. So yeah, that's gonna be tough. So there we go. There's a great example of just a quick and how quick it rank, ramps up um, from common to common. So to rare, I should say. Um, so yeah, my my advice would be just literally do as much as you can to legendary if you can get there. I mean, that's Ram Talk from Uncommon to Rare, so I'd have to think what it's like at Legendary. Um, like I say, this event's great, the more heroes you've got. Once you've kind of got as far as you can get, uh, just go back and just do areas where you think you can get better, like them two encounters there. I know I can probably do a little bit more better. Uh, it's only encounter three there, I didn't do 100%, so I'm doing okay. I'm in good steed, but seeing that now, I don't think I'll, I'll probably get past Rare. I'd be lucky if I get to Legendary. Um, and I've got quite a lot of choice, but. Yeah, I might have to uh, consider changing my heroes for that other one. But there we go. So I thought a quick, quick run through Roswitha's quest. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that scaled quite quick? Or is it just me? Um, any advice for anyone, anyone out there? What you can do for this event? Um, it's great to see Roswitha being used. I know a lot of people haven't got Roswitha. And I know, well, I'm sure soon she's going to be in the summons for a lot of people. So you're going to see a lot more Roswithers in the future. So... Hope to help some people out there. Please don't forget to check out some more videos. Got more videos to come. Take care. Bye-bye.